Producer goes pop there. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Hi, guys. Good morning, everybody, and good morning to you. Time now for Bob News, and we begin with award-winning actress Octavia Spencer, up for her second Oscar for her role in Hidden Figures. But the actress is revealing the role that she is destined to play is actually behind the scenes. She told Gloria Steinem at the Makers Conference on Monday that she plans, not wishes, she plans on becoming one of the biggest producers in Hollywood. Love that confidence. Uh, she says that she wants to continue telling stories that haven't really been told yet and produce movies that show a broader spectrum of people in the world. She is currently doing just that, developing a mini series for HBO, and says she has another very big project in the pipeline. The Makers Conference, by the way, was kicked off with a video from Hillary Clinton, who said, and I quote, we need strong women to step up and speak out, to dare greatly and lead boldly, something Octavia is doing already. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I wouldn't count against her. No. I've heard about some of the projects that she's working on. Wow. I, th there's one Great. that's still sort of secret that, that I, we sort of are think, hearing about. And if it is that, I know. ooh, Octavia, <laughs> it's a good one. You guys know a lot more than we do. Yeah. <laughs> George and I over here like, what's it? Yeah. Well, you know, that's how we roll. Rob and I, we hang out with Octavia. Um, all right, Valentine's Day. As you know, just around the corner, everybody have a Valentine in the audience? Yeah. Still looking? <laughs> if not, wow. Ladies, listen up. So Match.com has released their annual Singles in America study, giving us all a glimpse of current the current dating status here in the U.S. According to the study, which looked at the dating habits of 5,000 singles, 75% are turned off when a first date takes a phone call without explaining. That's new. In our, in sort of our generation, this is a millennial thing. They really don't like it. As attached as they are to their devices, mm -hmm. they do not like it at all. 75% 75, uh, 75 said that. 66% said texting on a date will land you no second Who date. Well, I think, I mean, I, we've all yeah. seen it. I mean, everywhere you go, oh, people are attached to the first date. On the first date? Well, first date, well no you know why? Because you got to text a friend who you said, text me, act like it's an emergency <laughs> in case <laughs> I need to get out of here. That is, and then, I, okay, it's not an emergency. Have you ever done that? Tell it on yourself? No, I've never done no, that. I have done that. And then when you I've don't explain that, you wonder why they get mad? <laughs> <laughs> Just hold on yourself. The, the survey said also that uh, social media is a double-edged sword. Of course, it helps get intel on someone that you might be interested in. But 58% of people are passionate passing on those who are complainers on Facebook. If you're not positive or if you're not upbeat, you're out. So a major no is also no voting. More than 40% said they would vote you off their island if you didn't use your voice in the election. Wow. wow. So some really cool stats. Match.com. There's a lot more. I know I have the best audience right here. I'm just going to talk to you for the <laughs> And then finally, and I love... And by the way, he smells good. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You do. So I know. Oh, it's a real love fest here. You're in Georgia now again, <laughs> sitting here. I was going to say, it's all yours. <laughs> Come on, now. You're going to do it. You take the last one. Come on. Oh, my God. There you go. <laughs> this is my friend. This is so What's weird. <laughs> Welcome. What's your name? Hi, I'm Dimitri. Hi, Dimitri. Welcome to Good Morning America. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> News. This is the last pod, and this oh, is a really good one, George. We, I think we all know Christy Brinkley, right? Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. this So, one, yes. wonderful woman, gorgeous gal, as you know. The last time she posed in the Sports Illustrated issue was 30. She was 30 years old. We were supposed to wait to show this. Get ready for her comeback 33 years later, and here it is, or there it was. She's not posing alone, either. Those are her daughters, you guys. 63 years young she is, and those are her two daughters, Alexa Ray Joel and 18-year-old Sailor Cook. She Instagrammed about her return to the Sports Illustrated issue, swimsuit issue, saying that it was her girls who convinced her to pose. And she also said, you'll notice in the, um, oh, can you guys put up the still again, please? You'll, you'll notice in the still picture, okay, the one of the three girls, uh, there you go. My kids think I walk on water, so don't mention the apple box concealed just under the surface. <laughs> she also thanks Sports Illustrated for sending the message that good things come in packages of all sizes and shapes and do not come with an expiration date. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do I do. I think we agree. They, they all 
looks fantastic, by the way. And that, I mean, honestly, it takes a, it, it takes a lot of bravery to do that period, no matter what your period. age is. Uh, and then age. for her, that's, that's amazing. It looks incredible. So nice to see all three girls. <laughs> <laughs>